I think I must start with a lava. Because yesterday's evening was so great. I think hats off to all of you who performed in the concert yesterday and very well done to all the teachers because that was a great evening. And I think if someone had missed yesterday's concert, I really pity for you because I think that was the best concert up till now. So I think all of you deserve a very big applause for your performance yesterday. Very good morning, dear principal, deputy principals, teachers, and my dear brothers and sisters. Thanks to effective speech and all the effective speech teachers, I stand here confidently and proudly speaking to all of you, maybe for the very last time. I think I should thank our principal, Mr. Malik Kumar Singha, for for inviting me to address you all, and I have come here with a very important message to my family of Lyceums. Having been a past pupil of Lyceum International School, Manadura, I wish I could come back to Lyceum and start schooling in the coolest place of all. I mean, look at everything around you and think, what do we not have in Lyceum? I think you are very lucky that your parents have made the perfect choice and I envy you that my school life in Lyceum is no more. Well, comparing all other international schools, it's sometimes hard to believe that Lyceum is keeping up so well, super maintenance, employing a large staff, doing an extraordinary service with only a lenient term fee as yours. Comparing other international schools which charge massive fees as term fees. And also, not to forget, Lyceum offers you scholarships if you excel in school, which means you do not have to pay a single cent if you are an outstanding student. So, guys, Lyceum is undoubtedly the number one international school, and it is the only international school which caters everyone equally. Well, what I'm trying to do is not promote our school. What I'm trying to tell you is, through all this clearly is, you have to learn to love your own school. You should have the spirit that it is my school before myself. When someone says anything against your school, or when someone says anything bad about your school, you should have that feeling that as if they are saying something against your own friend, your own brother, or even your own mother. Because at the end of the day, even after, your, after you are well settled and stable enough, people will still only ask you two questions. Question number one, what do you do? And question number two, what school are you from? So, if you want to tell that you are proudly from Lyceum, then my dear brothers and sisters, it is your duty to keep our flag flying high. You know, even at present, having only a short history of 20 years, comparing other good schools which have a history of more than 100 years, Lyceum has made a great reputation now itself. I mean, when you graduate from school, and when you are applying for a job interview, and when you tell you are from Lyceum, you are regarded highly off. Let me tell you a small story. During our graduation, we made a very, we had a very high budget. And no one thought that we would be able to achieve that budget. But you won't believe me. We ended up even exceeding our budget simply because of the reason. When we go and laugh at ourselves as the graduation ceremony of Lyceum, everyone will be able to sponsor you. And also not to forget, where I met achievers with so many of my batchmates, where we started doing SIMA. Well, all the Lyceum students are simply not the place. It's only the licensed students who come forward, who interact with the lecturer, who speak up confidently and make the lectures interesting. The other students, they just come, watch us and go. Simple as that. Well, however guys, I must tell you one thing very seriously. I think it is very common for all international schools, including licensed. That is, all international school students, once they do well in school, after excelling in school, and after they leave school, 
most of the students tend to forget their own school. That may be because they are going to foreign universities and for so many reasons. But one thing for sure, you cannot forget your own alma mater. Well, when you are past pupil, you should always be connected to our school. You should always be the fullest support and cooperation whenever it requires. You know, some people still they tend to ask me, Nera, when are you leaving school? And you know what I say? I say, I simply will never leave school. So that is the attitude, my dear friends, you should have. You should have an attitude. School will never die in your heart. And also for information, me, Fazlan, all the old boys of the Bachelor 2012 have already formed the old license that I am getting six steps away from officially starting it out. So once you graduate from school, you can always join us and contribute to the development of our school. Well, I also must talk of one very important quality which all of us should have if we are succeed as a team. You know, when we meet our old A-level and O-level teachers, they always tell that we were the best class ever, that a class like us will never come in a long time. You know, that's what our old teachers say. That can be because of our results, of our sporting achievements, the leadership, good quality of discipline, and for so many reasons. But I think none of this would have been achieved if it wasn't for that very one unique important quality that we as a class have. That is our unbelievable unity. Our class just headed by our dear son Stasanga was simply amazing. We made an environment in class which, which was like it was only we 14 and the rest of the world. We made an environment which was very supportive, caring and which made everyone feel important. And we were like one real little family. We never had any grudge against anybody, never did tell or do anything behind anyone's back. Instead, we shared everything we could. We always helped everyone in trouble and always guided anyone who was in trouble for the betterment of his life. Let me tell you a small example of my life to show our unity in our class. You know, it was during the sports week month. Everyone was busy. Everyone was engaged in sports, meet work, housework, and everyone was busy. But at the end of the month, everyone in the class had to face one crucial barrier. That is the first exam. So on the day for the exam, no one had studied. Everyone was panicking. The next day we were supposed to have the music studies. First exam was just done by a very lovely teacher, Vishashkala, I think she's here. Well, on the day before the exam, she came to our class. And then she started to give us a motivating speech. But honestly tell you guys, I think no one was motivated because no one had studied. So, on the next day we had faced the exam and then she started giving us a bit of hints and some probable questions which, which might come for the exam. Then I went home that day, took my past famous book, and I was going through and I happened to recall one paper, which was the exam, which is a bit similar as the hints and probable questions she gave. I thought, if I do this paper, I can get through the exam. And you know what I did? I straight away took five photocopies of that paper, called everyone in the class to come early morning that day, next day itself, and distributed the paper to everyone. And you won't believe me, everyone in the class passed the exam with over 80 marks. And it was a great achievement. You know, it was not it was all teamwork. I could have easily done the paper myself and got very good marks. But it wasn't that way. Everyone passed, and that is the greatest feeling you can get. Passing well, producing great results as a class, not only yourself. So guys, stuff, so many stuff like that we did paid off. And not only did we produce record-breaking results, but we even managed to pass the weakest student in class who we thought, who the others thought would never pass. He passed with at least three days. But for him, it was like three days. So I think I was thanked a lot. This unity is mainly because of our class teacher, none other than Mr. Asanga Vistanaka. I think he was such a wonderful person and an inspirational character. But actually speaking, 
we learn so many life lessons in class than economics only. You know, if someone had a problem in class, or if someone was in a bad mood, he would never start the class until he was all right and happy. But instead, he would give us so much inspirational advice, which we have used in our life already. I think we are very lucky to have a class teacher like you, sir. And uh, he was a real father to our class. And, uh, Well, I'm speaking. For those who, who are about to see their exams in three months to come, you have to work hard, you have to work tight, and you have to work as a team. That is unity. You have three months, and of course, for who have not started yet, it's never too late. Three months is more than enough to make a very big change. Remember, the final exam is like the final of the cricket world. You have to work as a team, you have to play as a team, but at the end of the day, we will face the ball individually, which means we will have to sit the exam individually. But it's only if you play as a team you can make your country win. So if you produce outstanding results as a team, then only you can make your school proud. And for the others who are not doing the exams, well, I encourage you to engage in so much of sports which Lyceum offers you free of charge, unlike any other school. You don't only be focused on your studies from now onwards, but do engage in sports because sports will make your studying environment so easy. That was the case with me. I did so much of extracurricular activities and I had, I stopped everything, only leaving one month for my final exam. You know, so many people are scared, so many people are worried about myself. But I took everything ever so lightly. And I think I had that mindset because of the endurance, determination and so many other good qualities which I learned through sports. So guys, do engage in sports. Listen well in class and reduce your overload and tuition. Then only you can have a balanced and healthy life. Well, after all, whatever we do, Whatever we want to become, all of us want to be successful. But always remember, life is a test. You will fail many a time. Let me tell you my example. As I was introduced, Ashini introduced me as the all Island champion, Light of Asia in 2011. That you, all of you know. But what you don't know is, that was my fifth time I attended that competition. In my, in my first three attempts, I was knocked out from the first round itself. In the fourth time, I was able to make it to the semi-finals. But it was only in my fifth attempt, fifth and last attempt, I was able to shake the trophy. But if I had given up in my first three rounds, which was very disappointing for myself, I would have not achieved what I had achieved today. So guys, failure is not final. Giving up is what makes it final and failure a permanent. And also remember, if you want to change what people think of you, if you want to prove other people that you are right, if you want other people to like you, never prove them through your words. Always speak and prove it through your actions. At the end of the day, achieving the biggest revenge you can get is achieving massive success. So guys, let me tell again, Lyceum will produce the most ideal student. I am sure once you leave Lyceum, you will leave having identified yourself, your potential, your hidden talents, and I will assure you, a successful career is waiting for you. So, be grateful to all your teachers for their life goal. Producing great results it's the biggest reward, it's the biggest return you can give back to your parents and teachers. Well, if you're talking business terms, like the commerce students would know, producing great results is as if like paying super normal profits to your parents for their investment in you. But still, a word of advice. It's not only our principal, sir. 
It's not only our teachers, but everyone, including the bio staff, plays a major role for you to succeed in your education in Dyson. If the minor staff doesn't clean the class, you don't have a good environment study. If the minor staff does not clean the washrooms, you don't even feel like taking a break. Therefore, guys, respect everyone equally. Be grateful to everyone who helped you and never have a grudge against anyone in life. That's what Lyceum expects from you. An all-around student with a great personality and a genuine character. I will be leaving to New Zealand this Sunday and uh, I have to thank Lyceum for all what I have achieved. Uh, and I should proudly tell that I am leaving New Zealand, University of Canterbury, on a scholarship which is offered only to Lyceum students. And that scholarship is offered to one Lyceum student every year. So guys, see, still, even after you leave school, Lyceum will offer you a world of opportunities with unlimited value. So always do your best, give your best, never, never, keep anything, never keep anything within yourself. Always give your best to the school, your alma mater, mother life. I think I have lots of people to thank here today, but I don't think I will be able to mention everyone. Lots of teachers, lots of friends have helped me and guided me for the better. And I thank every one of them. And, I, and all of you will be in my heart forever. I take this opportunity to thank Mr. and Mrs. Vero, two of the greatest leaders you will ever see. Because to run a school like this is simply priceless. We should also thank our principal, Mr. Marit Kumar Singhar, our deputy principals, Mr. Charan Mahamad and Mr. Sunil Silva, our former principals, especially Mr. Chandi Gomez, who is not here with us, and also Mr. Subhash Mandal. Our chief coordinator is Dilbidi Gulgi, our sports coordinator is J.S.T. Chandrasekhar, and all the teachers who I can't mention by name because it's a long list, but I would really love to if I could. So, thank you very much, Nice Well, after this long, maybe boring speech, I should tell everyone for the very last time I love your school. Do best at all ways your school and make others love our school. Be a proud Lyceum. Always have that inner feeling and never let tarnish our school name. And also I have a small challenge for the present grade girls. Let's see who comes here next year. So then, as Lyceum says, know thyself. Thank you.